cool. Okay. So this is how you hold down a bar chord. A few things, you'll notice that my first finger and my thumb are more or less opposite each other. And I'm not really overly thinking about holding down any of the strings except maybe the fifth string or the sixth string, depending on what bar chord I'm making. So you can see that my fingerprint is there. You can also probably see my the top strings, these high strings, aren't being held down at all. How I'm gonna hold down that string is move my whole hand round and give it a pinch. But I'm moving the whole guitar neck back round. So on my bar chord, if I wanna play a B minor, the fifth string has been held down, and the first string has been held down, but the middle ones, absolutely not. So you can afford to have a curved finger, which gives you way more um, strength. It gives you less that you're doing with your finger. The rest of them, I'm holding down an A minor shape here. Oops, he says, there we go. An A minor shape, and that takes care of strings four, three, and two. So now it sounds like I'm holding down a perfect bar chord, whereas if I move these fingers, I'm not holding down a perfect bar chord at all. All I'm doing is holding down the fifth string and the first string. Other little things. So let's just relax our hand, because you can't hold down bar chords for long. I'm going to pretend that there's a little pin going through my thumb and my finger here, so I can now rotate. Now you'll see that, just as any other chord, if you're holding it down from here, then it's not as easy as if you hold it down from here. That's the same with bar chords. If you look where this part of my finger is, if once I rotate this round, you can see that the bottom half of my finger, this bit, is moving towards the fret, so I don't need as much energy to hold that fret down. Also, what you won't see necessarily, and I'm gonna do it again, so from here, like all the other chords that you've ever played are all on an angle, so this is now, I'm gonna angle this incorrectly so you can see what happens. You see where my little finger is? It's flat, which means that it's muting the string below it because it's flat. You use that principle of rotating, all of a sudden, you see what's happening with my little finger? It's becoming more on point. It's getting longer and it's becoming more 90 degrees onto the thing. How you're doing that is you're just reducing this distance here by rotating your wrist. You'll probably see your arm coming into your um, side a little bit more, but that is how we're doing that. And that, you'll feel a gap here, which is great. You'll feel these strings are not being held down by this finger, which is great. You'll feel your bass string is. You'll feel a sensation on this part of your finger that your littlest string, your thinnest string is being held down by this. And this just feels like any normal A, a minor shape that you might be making. Now you've got B minor. Yes, there is a muscle here that's working over time to keep this pushed in, but actually, you've probably got that if, you're, if you've been playing chords for a little while, so there we go. How to hold down a bar chord. Ta-da! <laughs>